Hi, this is Jocelyn Ireland from MVCC Libraries. This video was created for instructors to learn more about using Blackboard Collaborate Ultra for their online classes. Collaborate Ultra is a very similar to Zoom, only the platform resides in Blackboard and the recordings automatically are stored there too. So let's check it out. So I've got one of my test course sites as an example. First, let's get to Collaborate Ultra. Collaborate Ultra will be listed on your course tools. There is a course room open by default. It's a convenient launch point for, imp for impromptu meetings for you or your students. If you have a formal lecture you would like to record, it's a good idea to create a new session. To create a new session, select Create Session. Give your session a title. It will automatically create a phone number and a PIN in case students do not have a microphone on their computer, they can call in to participate. It will also create a link you can share with your students as well. By default, the start date and time will be your, the current date and time, but you can schedule it for a future session if you want it on a different, during a different time. I'm going to hit save. Any sessions you make will be listed here. I'm going to select the one that I just made and I'll select Join Session. So for your students, they'll be doing the same thing if they want to join in on the talk. So I'll select it. I'll select Join Session. Here, just like in Zoom, you can unmute yourself. You can also turn on your webcam. I'm going to cancel out of that because my video looks terrible in the lighting right now. The two main parts you should be aware of is this button in the top left hand corner when you hover over it, it says open session menu this is where the option to record is so if you plan on recording your lecture for students to watch asynchronously or come back to it later this is what you want to click on it will not record by default you have to tell it to record so i'm going to select start recording it gives me a message that it is being recorded and I can see the little icon over here is red too. The other part that you should be aware of is in the bottom right hand corner, this little purple button with arrows. Here you can have a chat form with your students. Down here is a button to share content. So that's where you can either share your screen, open up a whiteboard, I can click on this pencil, I can pick a color if I wish, then I can draw a graph or whatever else I want to draw. It is kind of hard to uh, manipulate your mouse though, just to warn you. You can also type on the screen as well. Over here, you can also select Share Files. That's where you can open up a PowerPoint. I'm just going to grab a random PowerPoint that I have real quick. After you select your slideshow, it'll upload into the system. It depends on how big your file is. It may take a little longer than this did. This is only a two slideshow, so it's not very long. So after it's done loading, I'm going to click on it and select Share Now. And then all of your slides will appear on the right side navigation panel. So if I want to share this first slide, I can just click on it and either click on another slide to move on or use the little arrows down here to move from one slide to another. And here I can also annotate if I want to. Clabbery Ultra also allows you to poll your students to engage and there's a possibility of creating breakout sessions as well. When you're done with your lecture, you can select the session menu button again that's in the upper left hand corner and you can stop recording click on that same menu button and there'll be a button to leave the session it'll ask you to rate the session and then you can close out that tab all of your session recordings will be accessible through this menu button here I'm going to select that and there'll be a button for recordings. So this will be a list of anything you have recorded and students will have access to this too.
the most recent recording that you make will not show up immediately. Just give it some time and it will appear. Something else I wanted to show you, the way students get to Collaborate Ultra and the session recordings is the same way that you do. They would have to go under Course Tools and select Collaborate Ultra as well. And then that is where they can enter any active sessions or access your recordings. However, you do have the option of creating a navigation button on the left hand side to make it a little easier for them to find. To do that, click on the little plus sign to create a button. Collaborate Ultra is a tool, so I'm going to select Tool Link. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it Collaborate Ultra or maybe Live and Recorded Lectures. And the type you have to set to Collaborate Ultra. And I'm going to say Available to Users. And Submit. By default, your new button will be at the very bottom of your list. You probably has, have less buttons than I do on my little play site here. So I'm going to click and drag it. By the way, if you missed that, how I did that was I clicked and dragged from the left-hand side of the button. So I have a little four-point arrow, and then I can click and drag it wherever I want it. Now, students have an easy button that they can click on to access the Collaborate Ultra tool. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need assistance with Blackboard or Collaborate Ultra, the Blackboard's Instructor Help site is very helpful. Or you can contact me at jireland at nvcc.edu or the Educational Technology Office. Stay safe and hope to see you again on campus soon.